So you wanna get better at JavaScript? Well, arrays are an essential part of JavaScript. So in this video, let's take a look at the array sort method in about five minutes. So first off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do weekly videos on web development topics. So if you're interested in more of that content, make sure to subscribe so you can see it when it comes out. All of that said, let's dive into arrays. All right, so this is a series on JavaScript arrays, and I've got a GitHub repository here that inside of this GitHub repository has a readme on what we'll work on and then a worksheet that you will check out to be able to use below. So inside of that worksheet, you'll have some sample Star Wars character data that we're gonna work with and we're gonna walk through in these different videos, map, reduce, filter, sort, every sum, and then maybe we'll add some, no pun intended, extra videos to this on the end if you're interested. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I've got the worksheet repository checked out and inside of the worksheet, we have our sample characters array with Star Wars characters that each have a property of name, height, mass, eye color, and gender. So if we scroll down to our sort section, which is where we are now, we wanna start by sorting by mass. And so what we wanna do is sort will let us iterate through each item in the array. And then what we need to do, our responsibility is to tell JavaScript how to actually sort that item. So let's do uh, sorted, uh, let's just call this by mass and let's do a characters array and call dot sort on it. And what we're gonna pass in here is a callback function that has a reference to two items, A and B. And then our responsibility is to determine or tell JavaScript, hey, which one A or B should come first. So this is known as the compare function. And I've got open W3 schools because this is something that I often forget. But uh, if the result of that callback function, that compare function is negative, then A is sorted before B. If the result is positive, then B is sorted before A. So we want either a positive or a negative number. So what we can do is we can return A dot mass minus B dot mass, and then it will kind of take care of the rest. And then I want to take this and log out the by mass array. So let's save this and I've got NodeMon running, which is a live reloading uh, of my uh, JavaScript code here. So I've got that and just save it and it should be ready to go. And you see this is an increasing order. So mass is 49, then 77, uh, 84, and then lastly 136. Now the cool thing with a sort is if we wanted to flip this, we could uh, take the B mass and uh, subtract the A mass. So then this would uh, result in a descending order. So we would start with 136, 84, uh, 77, and then lastly uh, for Leia 49. So that's pretty cool and that works well. All right, so now we wanna do a very similar thing, but we wanna do this by height. So we'll call this by height. We'll take our characters array, we'll call sort, we'll pass it the comparator function, which takes two parameters, A and B. And then uh, what we want to return is the same general idea, except for instead of mass, we want to take our height. So a dot height minus b dot height. And uh, let's do a log of this. So let's log out by height. And let's see if we uh, look at this. So height is 150, then 172, then 188, and then 202. So that seems to be working. And again, we could flip this if we did b height minus a height. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is with these arrow functions as callback functions, we can, uh, since these are one line returns, we can actually ignore the return keyword and get rid of the brackets and the semicolon. So it'll look like this and have this be all in one line. So this will actually work the exact same, uh, but be a little bit shorthand of a syntax. So this works the exact same, but lets us uh, do it all in one line, which is pretty neat. All right, so now we'll do one that's a little bit different where we wanna sort, sort by name, which is a string property. This will be a little bit interesting. So we'll do our by name variable here, and then we'll take characters, call sort, pass it our comparator function or our compare function. And in this case, I'm gonna do a full uh, non-abbreviated um, function in here. And what we wanna do is be able to compare A and B, but we can't do subtraction because it doesn't quite work with our strings. So what we wanna do is check if a.name is less than b.name because there's some math that can go on behind the scenes. We'll return a negative one. And then otherwise we can return a one and kind of flip that order. So let's uh, log this, let's log by name and let's see what we get if that's in the right order. 
So we get uh, Anakin and then Darth Vader and then Leia and then Luke. And that seems to be in the right uh, order alphabetically, A, D, L, and then even L-E is ahead of L-U. So that seems to be working okay. So again, strings are a little bit different. Since they're not numbers, we have to kind of define the return one and negative one values by looking at, uh, in this case, what is subtraction? And we can do other things to, to ignore uh, case and things like that, but this one will work. And if we wanted to flip this, we could simply return one here and then negative one here if we wanted to. So if we look at this, this should be in descending uh, alphabetical order. So L-U, L-E, D, and then A. So that works. All right. And then uh, we'll do a similar thing here uh, by gender. And we'll say characters.sort A and B. And then really what we can do is we can say if A.gender is uh, female, for example, then we can list those first. So let's do a negative one. Otherwise, we'll just return one. So this should put them in order of all females first and then uh, males last. So let's take a look and see if this works. Let's log this by gender. All right, and scroll down so we can see the resulting array. So let's look at this. So this puts uh, Leia first as the female, and then there are three males. And if we flip this to a one and a negative one, now we should see that this will flip. And I've got lots of logs in here, so I apologize. But we should see now uh, male, 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 and then the female at the end uh, by just flipping what we return based on those strings. So it's pretty cool. And kind of interesting that when we work with strings, in this case, we don't even really need a reference to B. We just care about what each individual item is uh, in terms of the gender property, that string, and then we can return our one or negative one. So that seems to work out pretty well. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video and you feel like you're getting better at JavaScript arrays. If you're interested in learning more about arrays, make sure to check out one of the other videos in the playlist. And if you have any additional questions or topics in JavaScript you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment below or check out the link to join the Learn, Build, Teach Discord server and you can ask and share there as well. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.